Well, the state of Georgia is among the top five in the nation for women business owners. Now, that's according to the National Women's Business Council. In the Peach State, about three businesses out of ten are owned by women. I spoke with two Central Georgia businesswomen who are working to keep those numbers growing. Cloud-based. or Janelle Bailey started young. I started when I was in my teens. I have owned my own business since I was in my 20s. I think I got my first business loan when I was about 23. Bailey has been in business for almost 30 years and is the president and CEO of Xenos Communication, a social networking company based out of central Georgia. She says from a young age she had an independent entrepreneurial spirit. I wanted to have control of my career and I saw a way to do that because I had already built my own client base at a very early age. According to the National Women's Business Council, around 31 percent of businesses in the Peach State are owned by women. Bailey says every business owner faces many challenges, but the ones women face are unique. I think women are challenged in the fact that um, we have to prove ourselves more so than men. It's harder for us to, to prove that I think we have a place in the business world. Bailey shares these struggles with other members of the Greater Macon Business Women. Especially as we're growing to show people. A team that works together to help one another succeed. The group was formed almost 50 years ago when women were not allowed to join private business networking groups like the Rotary Club. Women and business have come a long way, but numbers say the gender gap is still very real. Just 26 out of the U.S.'s most profitable companies, the Fortune 500, have women CEOs. That's about 5 percent, but that number has doubled since 2007. There are no limits to what they can do, and that's exciting for a lot of us. Um, there are no boundaries in business. Um, we're in control of what we earn, um, how far we go. Um, the things that we can accomplish and so that's that's powerful from not only running their own businesses but to leading business growth women are breaking those boundaries across central georgia april bragg is the president and ceo of robbins regional chamber of commerce and she says another strong woman her grandmother inspired her interest in business i watched her make just about every sacrifice um, that a woman makes not only for her family but for her business Bragg proudly leads an all-female staff and says she is excited to be part of a team who's making a difference. And women are making a difference across central Georgia, from the Chamber and Warner Robins to the Greater Macon Business Women. The good old boys club, it's getting a makeover. I think the legacy that my grandmother and my mother and other strong women in my life um, left for me and what I hope to leave for my daughter and the example that I leave for her is to soar. Younger women are seeing that opportunity and they embrace it. Well, women in Georgia still make 85 cents for every dollar a man earns, but that is higher than the national average where women earn only 78 cents to the dollar. For more information about the Greater Macon Businesswomen and the Robbins Regional Chamber, just head on over to our website, 13WMAZ.com.